At Trump's most recent uh, rally, Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville, former football coach, made a comment that you just can't characterize as anything other than racist. And if you watch the show, you understand I actually don't use that term to label people like that very often. A lot of times I'll explain why a statement was incorrect without necessarily using uh, that label because I know a lot of people turn off their ears when they hear someone use the, the word racist. But this, you can't watch it and respond without using that particular word. Take a look. Some people say, well, they're soft on crime. No, they're not soft on crime. They're pro-crime. They want crime. They want crime because they want to take over what you got. They want to control what you have. They want reparation because they think the people that do the crime are owed that. Bullshit. They are not owed that. Okay, so because he's trying to not specifically say black people, maybe you missed the point that he was trying to make. He said, Democrats are not um, just whatever it was, neutral on crime. They're pro-crime because they're trying to give reparations to those who do the crime. Now, within the context of the United States and politics right now, who is the Democratic Party and some people on the left uh, saying should get reparations? It's black people. So then you're saying that black people are the ones doing the crime. So I'm going to give you my full response and kind of a clear articulation of why that's both incorrect and then obviously racist. But first, take a look at a couple moments of people responding. The first is a Republican congressman getting asked about this statement and uh, not wanting to clearly denounce it. Some people say, well, they're soft on crime. No, they're not soft on crime. They're pro-crime. They want crime. They want crime because they want to take over what you got. They want to control what you have. They want reparation because they think the people that do the crime are owed that. Bull are those comments appropriate huh. for a sitting U.S. senator, Congressman? Well, I wouldn't say it the same way, but there is a problem in our country and with then, crime. Oh, <laughs> flipping it around to, listen, I don't know if I would say it that way, but yeah, there's a problem with crime. But that's not what you're, you're being asked about. You can say there's a problem with crime without saying the Democrats want to give money to black people, the ones who do the crime. Um, those are two very different statements. Uh, and then here is Van Jones on CNN responding to this again and saying, uh, you know, identifying this for what it is. Van? This <clears throat> is just racism on top of racism wrapped up in some racism and deep fried in some more racism with some racism powder on it. Everything he's saying is, is unacceptable. Uh, for him to say uh, for that, that Democrats want crime uh, because that's a way for black people to get reparations is for him to say that all the criminals are black, number one, which is not true. Uh, number two is to say that reparations is somehow about taking you know, stuff from individual white people, which is fear mongering, which is not what reparations, not reparations is about at all. It's just, I mean, it's really shocking. And, you know, and I agree with that analysis there. Uh, we'll stop it right there. Okay. So let's, uh, do an analysis of this. And if you're conservative watching, uh, and you're already getting uncomfortable with this segment, just take a breath. We're going to break it all down for you in a very logical way. So what did he say? Uh, Democrats are pro-crime because they want to give reparations to the people doing the crime. So, like I said before, who are uh, Democrats, some of them advocating to get reparations? Black people. I haven't heard anyone else, um, it, it, except for sometimes Native Americans, but specifically black people who is who he's referring to. So then, what are you trying to connect in your listener's brain? That it is the fact that people are black that is making them do the crime, and they are the sole people doing the crime, right? Because you're paying the criminals is what he's saying. And that's who reparations have been spoken about to be given uh, to. And so there's two aspects of this. Number one, you're saying something's not factually uh, correct. Oh, it's black people doing the crime. That's why they want to give them reparations. But then also you're not at all trying to address the possible issue that you're recognizing or identifying because we can all recognize within certain communities there are higher crime rates and that needs to be addressed but what is the cause of that is it because they're a certain race or because of socio-political and economic conditions now as van jones said there's no one demographic you can slice up that is doing all the crime the only uh way you could break down any statistics is to say certain groups don't do more than others but again you don't want to actually solve any of those problems if you're making it a racial thing. Because we understand race has nothing to do with what causes someone to uh, do crime or what causes particular areas to have more crime. 
You know what causes it? Again, economic conditions and sociopolitical. So interestingly enough, even though I think different people have different takes on what reparations should look like, should it be a direct cash payment or a more uh, systemic investment in communities that has a longer lasting uh, effect? And you can take whatever stance you want on that. That's not really what this is about. Uh, but that, what he's calling out, is actually an attempt to fix the problem that I guess he's sort of alluding to, which is decreasing crime. And again, what's causing higher crime rates in certain areas is the socio-political and economic conditions. So when you hear someone either make it, it's about the culture or it's about uh, the race, you know they're just dog whistling and they're just trying to uh, be racist and throw uh, racist red meat to their base. That's all you're doing. They're not interested in solving the problem because they're pointing at things that number one, stoke a lot of hate in people. And number two, don't have anything to do with the cause of the crime. Wild stuff. A sitting senator making a comment like that today. Truly, truly horrifying.